Now let's have an exercise. Let's use the probabilities that we just derived for the JVC example to find out the simulated demand for several random numbers. The first random number, 0.213. If you look at this figure, it falls in this bucket because 0.213 is between these two numbers. So the simulated demand is simply 1. If you look at this table, this number is in between these two numbers and that leads to the simulated demand of 1. Now let's move on to the next number, 0.857 is in this bucket, so the simulated demand is 4. If you check out this table again, you will find that it's in between those two numbers, those two cumulative demand, and the simulated demand is 4. So you probably can see the rhythm. You can see the rule how you can look up the random number, not only here, you can also look up here and to find the daily demand. Let's take this number for example. Okay, it's in between these two numbers, which means the simulated demand is going to be 3. This number is in between these two numbers, so that means the simulated demand is 2.